Hi friends, welcome back for Circle Time with Miss Shanae. I'm so happy to see you all. We have so many fun things to learn today. So before we get started, let's remember the things we need to do. Let's make sure we have our looking eyes looking at the camera. Let's make sure we have on our listening ears so we can hear everything. And let's make sure our thinking brains are ready to go. All right, let's sing a quick good morning song. Hello, 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 hello. Nice to meet you, nice to greet you. Say hello, 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 hello. Nice to meet you, nice to greet you. Say hello. All right, let's get started on our day. So let's start with our calendar first. So we're gonna look here. I don't know if you noticed, but all the numbers are gone. So that means we're in a new month and our month is May. So let's spell May together. M-A-Y spells May, and that's our new month. So if we look here, we're going to see that we are in 2021, and we're still in the spring season. So while we were away for over the weekend, May started, started. So we had one, two, three, and then we're gonna find out what today is. So let's count, ready? One, two, three, four. So today is May 4th. So let's sing the days of the week to find out what day of the week we're on. Ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So if we look back up here, we know that the number four is on Tuesday. So today is Tuesday. Can we all spell Tuesday together? Ready? T-U-E-S-D-A-Y, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. All day long. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. All day long. All day long. So let's remember the skill we learned last week. Since we know that today is Tuesday, we're going to go back a day. So that tells us that yesterday was Monday. So we'll flip that around. So now if yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. So we're almost in the middle of our, our week, just about. So let's find out what today's weather is like. So let's sing our Weather Watcher song. Weather Watcher, Weather Watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather is. Tell us what the weather is out today, out today. And when I look out my window, friends, it's raining this morning, but that's okay because there's gonna be so many fun things we can do inside with the rain. So let's sing. Miss Shanae says it's sunny. Miss Shanae says it's sunny. Out today, out today. Miss Shanae says it's raining. Miss Shanae says it's raining. Out today, out today. I might have said it was sunny there, but that's what my mind wants it to be. So here's a picture of our rain. And it's a little cloudy, it's a little dark. No sun today. Now let's go over to our charts over here. So if you remember last week, our letter of the week was A. And we had apple, right? And that was the A sound. Now for this week, we're gonna focus on the letter B. And B gives us the B sound. And if you see here, there's a picture of a basket ball. And basket and ball both start with the letter B. Can you all say B with me? B. B. Good job. So we have A that we know, and now we're going to learn the letter B. Now let's go back over here. Last week we learned about the circle. That was our shape, remember? Now this week we're going to learn about squares. And if we look really closely here, we can see that a square has one, two, three, four four sides and you know what all of the sides are equal in a square 
And as the week goes on, we'll find things around our home that shape like the square, or shape like the square, I should say. And when we look here, our color of the week will be blue. And let's do some counting. So when we always start, we start with the number zero. So our number of the week is the number one. Can you hold up one finger with me? Good job. So that's gonna be our number of the week. So as the week goes on, we'll have different things. But we'll focus on our color of the week, our shape of the week, our letter, and the number. So we'll have more about that as the week goes on, like I said. So now we're going to get ready to have a little story time. So are you all ready? I hope you are. Now it's time to read a book, read a book, read a book. Now it's time to read a book, so listen quietly. This is the front of our book. This is the back of our book. And this is the spine of the book. And the spine holds all the pages together so they don't fall out. And this is the title of our book. It's called, I Like Myself. And the title tells us the name. And if you look down here, this is our author, Karen Beaumont. And she wrote all of the words you're gonna see. And this book is illustrated by David Cathro. And David drew all of the beautiful pictures that we're going to see in this book. So let's get ready. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too for all I think and say and do. Inside, upside, excuse me, inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe, and all around. I like it all. It all is me. And me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be a silly nut or a crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is really all there is to me. I still like me with fleas or warts or a silly snout that snorts. Or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. Or beaver breath or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. The end. So I read this little book so you all would love and like yourself no matter what anyone says. Keep being yourself and keep learning. I will see you all tomorrow for Circle Time again. Have a good one, friends. Bye.